Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're uh, we're getting Troy's X completed in time to go to the Mayberry Truck Show in North Carolina. And as you can see back here, we got some fuel tanks, we got air tanks to put on. We still got to do cabin sleeper panels, but right now we're going to put these dudes on right here, and uh, I'm going to drive it back up to our shop in Crossville, and then we'll put the cabin sleeper panels on it, wash it a little bit, make it nice and pretty, and then. Troy sent one of his guys up to pick this thing up like the, tomorrow or something. I don't know. Pretty soon, Troy's like, I need my truck. So he's got it on his mind. He's going he's gonna to take this thing back to Texas, put a trailer behind it, then go back to North Carolina with it to uh, Mitchell's show. So this thing looked pretty cool with a, with a trailer behind it for sure. But me and Shock right now are fixing to uh, start hanging some parts on this thing, and then we're going to drive it up to Crossville. Okay, so Mark and Eli got... These tanks painted. They're a little dusty, but look at the flake. Oh yeah. So they're legendary black. And then uh, we've got our air tank. We've got our air tank in here. So I'm gonna pull it out of the paint shop here in a minute, or out of the paint booth. But air tank was painted last night. And then over here, Go over here. I got an eye panel. So we got a little bit to do this thing to get it ready before he picks it up. And we only really have about, I don't know, 24 hours to knock it all out. But we got the eye panel painted, ready to go. So this is a new eye panel. It comes further down on the tanks than the last one. Um, so we got that going. And another thing too is, if you'll notice, there's not a lot in our space here where we've been uh, doing all our paint work since we moved shops. Uh, a couple months ago, we were working over here at FCR, uh, and they, they were nice enough to give us, like, from Troy's truck down to here for us to work in. But we've moved all our stuff. I got just this last little bit. We're going to cram in a trailer today, and uh, we're, we're going to have the paint shop uh, moved up to our new shop in Crossville, which will be really nice because they'll get all of us together uh, working on things. So pretty excited about that. But anyway... We're just gonna go ahead and start hanging some parts on this thing so I can drive it back up to the shop. We got it done. So I'm um, fixing to jump in this thing, drive it back up to our shop, but humongous difference right now. We put eight inch stacks on this with an eight inch Y pipe kit on it, 68 inch top stacks, and they're uh, the stove top deals. And then, you know, painting the air tanks and the fuel tanks. And then now we've got them like all the way under the sleeper too, which looks really good. Like we didn't need to make the truck look any longer, but it looks better for sure. So uh, now we'll head back to the shop. We're gonna throw the cabin sleeper panels on this thing, wash it up, and then we'll go over all the details on this truck. And uh, Troy is on his way to come pick this thing up, so we kinda gotta hurry, but golly, it looks so much better with the painted tanks, I think, especially after we put the cabin sleeper panels on it. It's gonna really tie everything together. It's gonna look awesome.
right, so here's where we ended for today. Uh, we got the cabin sleeper panels mostly done on this side. We just got a, it's like six o'clock, so I'm, I'm ready to go eat. But we gotta finish this little corner right here, get that all in place. And then once that's done, we peel all this stuff off. This side's done here now. Box is back on. And our eye panel, we got this eye panel done. 12 gauge made that eye panel for us. Zoom in on a little bit. But that dude is the exact same height as what our uh, T-bar is. So uh, looks all nice and pretty. I like it. Um, over here, we got the sleeper panel on now. So next step tomorrow, we'll put our uh, we'll put our uh, cab panel on. Now the sleeper one's done. And the four inch panels look really good on this truck. I mean, if you, you know, they come from the factory, the three inch panel. And because we swapped the exhaust out, you know, the factory, the factory panels right here have a cut and they're, and they're made so that the exhaust can kick back and go, go back in there this direction. Um, but we're putting the 12 gauge cabin sleeper panels on there and they all work well with the Dynaflex exhaust. and. It looks pretty good. Our def tank's in here. We haven't painted our other strap and got that all painted in, in place and looks pretty freaking sharp. Painted air tank, looks awesome. So it's getting there. We'll get these other pieces done on it. And um, you know, I feel like I feel like this is enough so we can go to Mitchell's show, but I also feel like it's not done. I think we'll end up doing more. Maybe, maybe the engine will come out of this thing that sure would look good painted but that's where we're at getting some stuff knocked out over here well there you go it's all done and out of the shop Tommy it looks really good it does it's the first 389x that I know of that has eight inch rod picket elbow Dynaflex stacks on it I mean all 389x's have Dynaflex stacks but it's like it's it's different though because it's you know it's a different style from the factory it looks really good with the eight inch stacks on it like that and the tanks push forward it really does all right so this is the third time that this truck has been back in our possession and every single time we've done a little bit of something different but we've never done a full reveal or even just a full walk around of what the truck is and what all has been done to it no we really haven't so every time we're working on this truck it's uh it's got to go somewhere and it gets out of the shop, we're in a hurry, and then we never got it. We never got a chance to really make a full video on it at all. And today was no exception. So me and Brian are here as the sunrise to uh, try to get a video of this thing because it is currently on its way to make a, a, a hasty return back to Texas in order to get detailed, hooked to a trailer, and then make another hasty return back to North Carolina and. Um, Mount Airy, North Carolina. I forgot the name of it there for a second, but it's going to Mount Airy, North Carolina to the Mayberry Truck Show. Uh, this this thing's going to make its next debut over there. Yep, since all the changes. Yeah. Because this last time around, like you guys saw in the beginning of the video, we, uh, we did the 8-inch uh, stacks on there with the 68-inch top stacks and 8-inch Y-pipe and pushed the tanks forward and painted the tanks and all that good stuff. So... Uh, just kind of getting all that done and nobody's really seen this truck this way yet. Yeah, so there's uh, there's been quite a bit done to it and we're gonna go over bit by bit here. So, uh, so Brian, in order to put those stacks on, you also had to change the light bars too, right? Yeah, so the cabin sleeper panels had to change um, because when you do the eight inch kit, it moves the DPF forward, um, which, so the factory 389X uh, cabin sleeper panels don't fit. Um, and you'll see over here, kind of, it's got the smaller cow panel because the whole box moves forward a couple inches. Um, and it also moves it down. So we changed the cabin sleeper panels out to 12 gauge stainless cabin sleeper panels along with the 12 gauge uh, smooth stainless boxes on it, which look awesome. They do look pretty free. And then sweet. we scooted the tanks way up too. Um, after yeah, because... We yeah, when you, when you scoot the box up, the first thing that happens 
is there's a gap right there between the exhaust and the fuel tank because originally that exhaust had to curve back a little bit, yep. which means the fuel tanks were pushed back. So when you move the box forward and then move the stack forward, then you got the big gap, so then you got to move the tank forward. Yep. So we did all of that, and uh, I mean, if you stand back this way, Tommy, I mean, the truck has a 320 inch wheelbase, and it's, I mean, it's, it looks long, but like after being able to push the tanks all the way forward, it looks even longer now the way it's set up. So, speaking of tanks and all the things that we did around the tanks, there's also a tank missing. There is a tank moment. missing. We, did, we walked on the other side of the truck and totally didn't even acknowledge that. Exactly. But we're going to have to open the hood to show you that part. So, instead, we're just going to walk back here and show you guys everything that's going on in the back. The frame has been painted back to, uh, or not back, the frame has been painted legendary black to match the cab. It's got that super awesome shine coming through with all those uh those really pretty glass beads man like there's just nothing better than legendary paint when you get it in the sunlight yeah it's it's literally the best paint we did uh we washed this thing yesterday and it's already like a little dusty it doesn't show up as bad on the camera as i thought it would but um we painted the chassis everything inside and out so the whole underside of this chassis is painted legendary black places you'll never see is painted legendary black we just put this new eye panel on which is a 12 gauge eye panel um before we had a little shorter one on there and now we've got one that uh, matches the same height as the front and rear t-bars that new gen services built um so the eye panel is pretty awesome looking and then we've got the 12 gauge 389x shock box cover which is super awesome i always thought that was a super nice touch and it's cool it's a, it's a different style of shock box cover you don't see it that often and then the 389X logo in the back of it has got to be my favorite part. I love all the little 389X logoed parts that uh, that Jeff sent to us. It is, it, they are pretty cool. Like speaking of that, we did the breather bars on this one also, and it's got the 389X logos on the front and the rear as I'm showing them backwards. That's the front. <laughs> uh, some other cool things we've done here on the truck. All the, all the lights are trucks lights. And like these ones that we put in this truck this time around are the Jewel Series lights, which are pretty neat looking. We did shift fenders. This rear T-bar is freaking, I'm gonna go ahead and tell you that this rear T-bar that new Jim built, I mean like, that dude's serious. It took a forklift and a couple of us to get that thing on and off this truck. <laughs> um, I mean, it's, it's not going anywhere. No, that thing is heavy. That thing's more sturdy than like the bumper on my pickup truck. I'm not kidding. But the cool thing about it though is, I mean, it, well, it does kind of need to be sturdy because it, it mounts the uh, the fender. Yep. But if you see it's plated, it goes all the way around and over the frame, bolts down in there. It's pretty awesome. Then we built another panel to go between, you see here, we built this plate that goes under the fifth wheel. And the reason we had to do that is because this T-bar sits on top of the frame and, and we didn't want the line to be different. So we built a plate to go in between the fifth wheel right here. And when it comes up to the Iowa Customs deck plate, you'll see that this one's mounted flush. And so in order to kind of hide that and make an optical illusion out of it, we made our split down, if you can see, let's go. You can see right there, we did that split. So one's on top of each other, but we hit it on the cross member yeah, this, for the uh, yeah this cross brace that goes from uh, each side of the fifth wheels on each on every truck yep and so just seemed like the right line to hide that under so you really it, it's an optical illusion you don't really you can't really ever tell and then when you get up here you get a nice flat deck plate which is pretty cool and then over here because we didn't even we didn't bring that up but there's no def tank over here Tommy there is no def tank on this side of the truck so we did uh we did a 150 gallon fuel tank over here. The def tank's actually hidden up there under the hood, which we'll show you that in a minute. That's pretty cool. And uh, you can kind of see in here, the eight inch Y pipe set up and the chassis is painted all underneath. I mean, the whole chassis front to rear is painted. Painted the air tanks, 12 gauge wide air tank straps on it. Step boxes. We did an air dump kit on the front end, painted the hubs, put the lifetime uh, chrome oil covers on there and uh, over on the front we did a 12 gauge 20 inch bumper with the rolled ends two tag mounts 
we swapped the headlights out to uh, the Firewire LED headlights. And then the big 14 inch 12 gauge visor painted to match, 13 lights on the roof. I mean, that just like that shot right there, that thing just looks super mean. It's a cool freaking truck. And then on the inside, we didn't really do anything to the inside um, other than we lowered the seats. Troy had some custom mats made. See in here a little bit, it says Massey on it. And then we put the Peterbilt Chrome, genuine Peterbilt accessories pedals in here and the Iowa Customs pedal extender. These floor mats though are super awesome. We'll look in here a little bit more. It's got the 389X logo in the center. So pretty cool. What number was this one? This one's number 34. But you have to lower the seats down because that visor drops down so far that you've got to literally be able to put your butt down a little bit lower just to see out the truck well. And then, uh, what we got over here, Tommy? As mentioned before, we had to hide the def tank somewhere. So this is where it's at. So 12 gauge built us this tank and uh, it basically holds about eight gallons. Um, and all your factory stuff goes into the top up here and then you fill it right there. Um, we had to build the brackets and all the mounting set up for it to put all this on, but um, it really was pretty straightforward. We had, a, we had a good bit of time kind of figuring out how we wanted to do that and uh, making everything kind of fit, but it worked awesome and uh, I'm a fan, I like it. No, I think it looks really cool. I think as opposed to uh, the you know original position of the def tank I think this this looks pretty dang good it does and like you know I know people are probably watching this video and there's gonna be a bunch of them talking about uh, well you only got eight gallons of def and that won't work for you know a work truck you couldn't you couldn't do anything with this this truck was never intended to go to work no so eight gallons for running back and forth to shows and stuff like that works just fine yeah no it's it's going to be more than plenty yeah um, you can tell up here too, we painted the entire chassis legendary black. Um, even when we did the, uh, the air dump kit, like our valves and stuff, we painted them black and put them in. And then we painted inside the hood in the fenders here, painted that legendary black as well. Um, and then did the Dynaflex chrome under hood kit. I'm gonna walk around the other side. The sun's like- Brutal at this hour. It is, it's like straight at us. There you go. Did the under hood. Chrome kit. They make, it really dresses the engine up a lot. You don't have to do a, a whole bunch. You, you throw this on there. We did a we did some cover stuff over some of the factory uh, wiring harness just to kind of clean some things up. But otherwise, uh, pretty sharp looking setup. And now you can really see the the paint job on the chassis. Yeah, legendary black shining. I mean, that's kind of. That's kind of the whole thing in a nutshell, ain't it? Right. That's the whole truck in a nutshell. I mean, it was like, it's, you know, it's quick, fast, and dirty, and there's already guys here waiting on it to, yeah. get, out, to get out of here. It's like I said, this thing's got to go to Texas today and then North Carolina tomorrow. Yeah. So we're literally driving all the way back, detail it, hook a trailer to it, and go right back to uh, Mitchell's show up in uh, the was it Mayberry Truck Show. Yeah, the Mayberry Truck Show in Mount Airy, North Carolina. It's yeah. happening this weekend, which is, hold on one second. For anybody watching the video, you know, a month from now, no one can think that's like this weekend. The Mayberry Truck Show is September 29th and 30th, 2023. There you go. So if you guys are going to the show, you'll be able to walk around and check this one out. Along with Mitchell's X. I mean, essentially between Mitchell and Troy, these are the two most custom 39 X's in the country. I don't. I haven't seen anybody I've not seen do anything one, anymore right now. No, I've not seen one that was even close yet. So I mean, I don't know. Maybe when we get to the truck show, or maybe at Mid America, there might be something that like blows our minds. But as far as 39 X's go, I've not seen one to this extent or to Mitchell's extent at like not even close. No, no, and they're gorgeous. This truck and Mitchell's both are amazing. You know what's really cool though is like it, it's also somewhat low key. It's like you can tell there's been a lot done to it, but it also doesn't look super extreme at first glance. No, it doesn't. It, it like and the same with Mitchell's. Like they're both very classy. They're not over the top. It's just everything fits the truck really well. And uh, if a person walks around and looks at it pretty close, they can see a lot of details of things we did. 
Yeah. But uh, it's still very much. But but that was the challenge though, right? Yeah. Keep it as close to being a 389X as possible while still making it custom. Yeah. Which that was, that that's where the challenge lied. Yeah. And Troy's got a 379X, it's all done up, painted tanks, and it's, in, it's black as well. Yeah. So uh, these two parked side by side will be pretty neat. All right, guys, that's it for this video. We hope you liked everything you saw. Hope you guys had as much fun watching the video as we did making the video. And building the truck, because we really enjoy doing this stuff. I mean, when you get to step back and look at all the work we did, it's, uh, it's pretty cool. Yeah, the work you guys did. I've been so absent lately just with everything else going on. It's just like, I'm, you know, we got a project coming up, and I think we're doing it, uh, what are we doing it, later today? We get to actually, like, put some engine parts on. Tomorrow. We're doing uh, it tomorrow. doing it tomorrow. Yeah. I'm pretty excited about that. It's been a long time since I picked up a wrench, and, uh, you know, I'm, I'm excited to get back in the shop. To do something. Yeah, yeah, to actually do something. Because yeah. otherwise, like, lately, because since we've moved over here, I mean, if you look back here, we got all these trucks. A bunch of these, almost every one of these we're working on. And then, you know, you guys saw in the last video, we got all this stuff going on in the shop over there. Well, inherently, as this thing gets bigger, me and him get stuck with a whole bunch of other stuff that's not as much fun as getting to kind of work on the trucks. Yeah, but we still on enjoy and, it. Yeah, working on them and showing them off and, and going to truck shows. We, did, we, yeah. we haven't been to near as many truck shows this year either. We but, hadn't had time. But getting this uh, facility up and going and, and off the ground properly was, was a huge priority for us, and we feel like we're there now. So now it's... Now, now we can get back into doing you know the kind of the things we enjoy so yeah there's going to be a lot more content a lot more videos a lot more travel in our very near future so all that being said you want to see all that stuff you got to like subscribe follow us on instagram at semi casual show and i feel like i should say and tiktok because our tiktok is getting bigger than our instagram yeah so yep. we have a tiktok too we just never say that at the end of the channel so yeah. follow us on instagram and tiktok at semi casual show and then uh you know we'll see you guys next time later